Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Daisy Tang. I'm the chair of the computer science department here at Cal Poly Pomona. Welcome to join our program. So the computer science department is established in 1981. Uh, so um, we offer both Bachelor of Science and Master of Science programs in computer science. We are ABAT accredited uh, for our Bachelor of Science program. And uh, we encourage that um, students do lots of research opportunities with faculties through senior projects and maybe uh, also complete internships before you graduate. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a lot of those good research opportunities um, uh, later on. For our student clubs, we have six really active student clubs, such as Computer Science Society. Uh, they are a general student clubs. Uh, that offers seminars in computer science. So you're going to learn new things in computer science, trending uh, technologies and so on. And they also offer opportunities for students to go to those companies for a company tour, um, maybe inviting alumni back to give us a talk. There is also She Codes. So based on the name, you know that it is a particular club for promoting females in computer science. Um, and there's also Ignite CS, uh, where we're going to have students go out to elementary, middle school, and high school to teach those kids computer science. Uh, there's also specific, other specific clubs such as cybersecurity, uh, software engineering, and game development, where you're going to develop your specific interest uh, in those areas. So here I'm basically going to give you a few advices uh, that's going to help you uh, to have a smooth transition to college. So first of all, uh, be familiar with the advising structure here, knowing where to find help, to reach out for help uh, when it's necessary. Um, second, then definitely attend summer orientation where you're going to meet a group of faculty advisors and advising center staff and department staff so that they are going to help you register into the right set of classes to begin with. Uh, so while you are taking classes here at Cal Poly Pomona, try to interact a lot with our faculty members um, and also how, um, I mean, interact with the students so that you can learn together. And joining student clubs, that's also a good way to share your passion uh, with the fellow students. And you're also going to start building your network uh, before, even before you graduate from the program. And finally, uh, make use of faculty's office hours. Uh, they are exciting to, they're always excited to see students visiting their office hours, uh, talking with them about different career choices, or just simply helping with uh, those uh, course related questions. So in the computer science department, we currently have about 15 tenure track faculty members and uh, 15 part-time lecturers. So those part-time lecturers, they're like working in industry, but also uh, teach here part-time. So for, for our tenure track faculty members, their research interests range uh, like in, uh, in a variety of uh, areas in computer science, such as the general area in software engineering, uh, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, game development. And recently we also added this new areas of data science where we have um, research projects in machine learning and um, data mining, etc. And so, um, so our faculty, uh, I mean, faculty, they have lots of research projects that are supported through uh, funding agencies such as National Science Foundation, government agency, and industry. So they are very active in their research and they're also welcoming students to join their research group uh, because that's basically a very good experience for any undergraduates to have before you graduate. Um, you're going to build up your teamwork skills, communication skills, and many other essential skills uh, that are good to be uh, have on your resume.
So basically, the advising uh, effort is a collaborative effort among the department, the College of Science Advising Center, and also sometimes the Career Center. Um, so we offer both academic advising and career advising. So you can reach out to the department office, like including uh, department chair, associate chair, and administrative staff if you encounter problems to register to classes. For example, if you need permission numbers to register to a class. You can also reach out to the department office for any CS-related questions, such as uh, if you need recommendation for CS electives, um, like I'm interested in game development, so what courses should I take uh, so that I can get a job right in game areas? Um, and also how to get credits for senior projects, internships, um, such questions. And you can reach out to Advising Center for general questions such as uh, GE requirements, missing units, uh, filing petitions, uh, graduation related questions, or course planning. And if you have in general questions or concerns about a particular class, um, you should reach out to the instructor of the class first. Uh, if issues cannot be resolved at that level, then you can reach out to the department chair or associate chair or advising center for further assistance. I think uh, that pretty much covered everything, but I just want to emphasize a little bit more about uh, our senior projects and internship opportunities because students can get actually units for doing internship or for doing senior projects with our faculty members. Uh, our faculty members, they offer lots of hands-on and fun fraud projects in collaboration with other departments at Cal Poly and also even in different uh, universities. So I would say these are really, really good experience to, for, for you to have and I encourage you to build up those experience that are outside the classrooms um, so that you can build up your essential skills. Thank you.